Hey guys, welcome back to Walkers Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the Rock Full of Brains, a star cluster out in the void where I am trapped, trapped on a planetoid that has lava over the top and only my base down below. I say trapped, but today I have my eyes on expansion. As you can see, we've got the teleporter over here and that teleporter will take us over to Pyaxlid, a rock that we have really not tried to, uh, to touch or to colonise at all. We've come over and we have uh, taken advantage of all its resources and it's time to actually start trying to tame this place and make it our own. We have a bunch of water over here which we could turn into both oxygen and power and that would solve one of our major issues that the oxygen is running out over this side. But of course who are we going to send? I don't know. But also when we get over there we're going to have a bit of a problem. As you can see this little, uh, this little setup here is what's called a self-powering oxygen setup. This will produce us some oxygen and some hydrogen to burn in the hydrogen generator produces power produces oxygen everybody's nice and lovely the thing is this place started off at like minus 13 and right now it's about minus four that means it's going to warm up and carry on a warming up i think down below here we've even got uh, we're not quite into the positive numbers but it's it's getting warm in here and it's going to continue getting warm in there which means on the other side it's already warm over here and it's going to carry on getting even warmer as you can see 50 degrees 40 degrees over here it's uh, a bit of a problem though not that much of a serious problem to be able to solve that particular issue we can come into the research and have a look up this side over here no, no, a little, little bit further a little bit further we've got the renewable energies this steam turbine is the uh, in-game very accepted way of how you deal with heat uh, you can use it as well as something called the thermal aqua tuna which we've already uh, researched down here to be able to pump a whole bunch of the heat that from whatever you're cooling you put it into the thermal aqua tuna that dumps its heat into a summer water turns it into steam which the steam turbine then turns back into water and some power deleting heat on the way but you might see that this uh, needs some applied science research applied science research is a research that we do not have access to right now it is this material science they they, they changed look this is this is applied science research it's the materials study terminal but this is called material science research why why would those two names not match up this is the material study terminal it's well the one we actually need to go for so i'm going to set that up to research right now another thing that i need to do to be able to uh expand quite nicely is to be able to make steel. Steel can deal with particularly high temperatures, which is nice when you're trying to delete uh, a whole bunch of heat from an area. I'm going to put forever. No, I'm not going to put forever. That that would be a bad idea. Uh, the reason being that we uh, we need to deal with the heat that comes out of this. Every time that we pump water through the system uh, at, as to make a single unit of steel, it will pump 50 degrees into this water. As you can see, some of this water coming out here is like very, very warm. 75 degrees, something like that. Uh, so we need to figure out a way of cooling this, air, uh, this little pool of water that we've got here down. Thankfully, that's not too difficult because we are in a very cold base. So if I press f6 and have a look at our base around here maybe we can come up with some sort of rerouting for this liquid pipe first maybe i'll bring it down and underneath and i'm not sure exactly where we'll, we'll, we'll try and figure out how to get it into here without uh, disrupting this entire line here so that we could then go ahead and make the make another cooling loop that comes up and warms this little corridor up for us here because our duplicants walk up and down this ladder a lot and it'd be nice if we could keep it you know fairly warm for them okay bunch of orders number one have gone down if we can get all of these uh, pipes put into place that should be pretty good for us it also enable us to uh, hook up another water pump down here uh, which is going to be very very handy when we come to want to move all of this water and all of the ice that melts up here back into the base okay while people are going around and putting this a uh, pipeline into place we do have more steel being made the water is coming out 77 degrees hopefully this is going to chill down and up oh, because the pipes are being made uh, it junks through the simulation rather than having a nice smooth one uh, but we can see that the the temperature is not getting too far out of hand this is good i'm more in particular worried about the water but that's coming through at 20 degrees it's not really a problem okay it's not the neatest loop i've ever done and the bypass is also in place i'm wondering whether i just want to connect these up for now i was giving real thought to having uh this pipe come down and pass through its own radiant system maybe even just take these radiant systems at the top here let's cancel that uh and then um 
and then uh, use the liquid as the as the like the swap medium if you will but just sending it around the outside like this should also bring this water as long as it's not down too far into uh, nice temperatures here we've got six we've got seven we are not pushing down into freezing anywhere so i think we should be fine Got to say, though, I am not happy with this bit of pipe here. It's probably causing quite a severe... Oh, no, there's no decor problems with that. Okay, that's fine. Also, just in time for the material science research to come in. Okay, beautiful. I have no idea where we're going to put this. I'm not even sure if we're going to have it on this side. Oh, that, that's also... Everything's happening at once. Oh, my gosh, I'm taking the barbecue. Thank you very much. But I'm not sure where we're going to put our material science research. I mean, there's a part of me that wants to tack it onto the end of this little research station here. But to be honest, I feel like this research station it was just a temporary setup that needs to really be moved maybe the uh, the, the grill needs to come down um, made part of a, uh, a more expen expansive kitchen system here something like that and then we could do the research somewhere else maybe okay that's kind of funny the water is coming down at 18 degrees and by the time it passes through this uh, this body of water it's picked back up to 20 uh, I got a feeling we're gonna be bringing some of the temperature out of here and spreading it around the base that's that's really nice actually that's that's really good and with that cooling loop in place i'm actually going to hit the forever button here uh we're going to run out of iron at some point we're also going to run out of lime lime seems to be the bottleneck uh that that should be fine though 70 of uh lion 10 of lime yeah no we, we should be fine Okay, quick bit of calculator maths. 2665 divided by 70 gives us 38 uh, steel cycles for the amount of iron that we've got. And of course, we're only going to have 13 for the lime as 10 div uh, 130 divided by 10. Just knock that zero off the end. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, lime is the issue at the moment. That's not the biggest problem because of course, if we go over to Pyaxlin over here and get rid of this, you can see that in these oil biomes, there's a thing called fossil. Fossil, you actually grind down into lime using the power of the stone crusher so that that shouldn't be the the hardest problem to overcome of course it does mean we have to come over to Pyax in here and get this place up and running I think I think the water might be the first if we send Curie over and then just try and get the water system built can, can I just build one is that is that a thing I can do no, there's no, there's no materials over here. We need to go dig stuff, okay. <laughs> Looking at this path I'm going to take to go through and dig up a whole bunch of copper, we could probably use the algae to set up our first uh, serious serious oxygenation system here whilst we try and work on the rest of the system. That, that might be a winner. Of course, we don't have power down here. That's that's the other thing we need to do. That's kind of why we wanted to get the the water set up so we could have power. Also, there's a couple of geysers here. One one this side, one this side. I have no idea what they are. We we really need to get down and dig them out. Can can we can we do that? There's part of this going to get materials run. I bet we can. So there's no food available when we get over there, but I think we can solve that one. I'm just gonna send Curie straight away uh, and then look for the teleport device. Oh man, we we've done this a lot in past playthroughs where I'm actually going to send food through the teleporter to feed Curie and try and get some food sorted on the other side. Honestly though, I'm not sure what we could use on this side. There's a lot of water. Maybe we could um, keep the millwoods up and running. Bristle blossom also. I mean, there is dirt and sandstone. Yeah, I mean, I, I suppose the millwood is a good start, but it's, it's not really where I want to stay. Okay, Curie is ready for teleport. Let's send her onwards. Maybe we could sort something out over there. I, I don't know whether Curie is going to be able to, uh, to farm on her own. If I was to afford or say, for instance, put down a whole bunch of millwood here. Uh, we, we'd have to try and deal with the chlorine, though it's not high-pressure chlorine, so we might be able to deal with that another way. Uh, and talking of, shall, shall we set up that oxygenation station, as I was talking about? Shall we go uh, generator, tiny battery, oxygen diffuser? Okay, that, that should be a good starting system. I do, however, need to tell Curie that actually, could you please come up here first look look at that restraint by the way i put it in on a six not a, not a nine i'm, I'm growing i'm growing as a, as a player okay turns out we got five thousand calories just kicking around somewhere have we have we uncovered some muck root yes it look, turns out we have i don't i don't know where it is but we have uncovered it there's some muck root hey that was there 
when I was looking anyway. Maybe because it's not in the in the ration box. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so the uh, buildings have been built, but unfortunately no one's going to be coming through to replace the, the algae here because uh, Kiri likes to dig and she likes to build. She doesn't like to supply. So if I, if I go, go ahead and do this. No. Do, do you need the power? Do you actually need power before you can ask for it? Okay, let's let's do that one instead then. Okay, with her on the treadmill, the uh, the battery is filling up. Do we now have life support options? Options over here. Okay, that's that's very good. Why isn't the life support super high for Curie? Let's let's turn that up there. Every, everybody should have a high life support drive. And then Algi goes in and we're, we're good, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, beautiful. First thing that we needed to do has been sorted. We have got our oxygenation station underway. We are definitely making ourselves a nice, comfortable area to live in. I just need to leave Curie to do stuff for a little while now. Also, we're producing a lot of muck roots, so that that's going to hold us good for a little while. Ah, nighttime has been called cool. the bane of my existence. Let's go back and make sure no one's uh, doing anything crazy on reverse Lynn. No, 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 they're going to the toilet, they're having a good night's sleep. Okay, that, that's that's great, that's great. Okay, we've got a big exploration dig underway here. We're making our way down to the two geysers, two levels of Neutronium. I'm not sure what's behind here. Uh, I'm hoping if we go out to the star map here that one of them is the natural gas geyser that we're looking for. Uh, that That is going to be quite a easy power system. Can I turn that off and go back to where we were? Great. Uh, we do, in fact, have, if we come into the, uh, not the food, the power tab over here, uh, where is it? Natural gas generator. We can pump a fair amount of gas from one of these, that one? that one? I don't know. Uh, into a, 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 a gas generator to produce power. There will be more coming out of one geyser than a single generator can deal with, so we'll have to try and up the ante on that one. Are we going to get exposed? Oh, I can almost see it. Almost see it. Oh, it's noisy. Oh, oh. Uh, polluted water vent. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's that's going to be awkward. That's going to be very awkward. We'll, sl we'll slap down an analysis, even though we don't have a researcher over this side. Oh, Kiri, please. I just wanted to know what this was. Polluted water. That's that's even more water. Okay, that's that's a thing. Does it tell us what temperature? 30 degrees. Oh my gosh. This is oh, it's full of food poisoning, but that's that's really not hard to deal with. Oh man, especially on such a chlorine filled map. That that is that's easy. Oh, free water. And in fact, if I think about it and come into the power, the natural gas generator here outputs polluted water as well. So the waste products from the natural... I'm, I'm just assuming this is a natural gas, guys. Look at, look at the shape of it. It kind of has to be. Uh, but uh, we could use the out... We could use the waste products from this to, to pass through the cleaning system for the polluted water vent. Okay, this is a really nice nice little setup here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take advantage of it immediately, but I would like to. Okay, here we go, uncovering our little gold mine here. I, I really do hope it's a natural gas. Yes! All right, little, little small round of applause to myself there. Okay, that's great. That's exactly what we needed. We somehow need to cover this with a box and then have a pump. Then we're going to need a whole bunch of natural natural gas generators. Thankfully, I have uh, dealt with this lay layout quite a few times before where you have, say, four generators with a carbon scrubber and a pump down below to pick up the waste products. Yeah, that, that should be relatively easy to deal with. Hmm, because this geyser erupts at 150 degrees C, the first thing we're going to need to do is to send some steel across. I don't know who is ready to do that, but someone... Oh, it's night time. No one's ready to do that. Incidentally, we've made 100 and... Uh, sorry, 1,400 kilograms of steel. That's pretty good, but the problem with that, if I come into... Is it a uh, refinement? It's not refinement. Utilities. The thermal aqua tuna uh, takes 1,200 of that all on its own. So the extra 200, I don't know. We're going to have to keep on making until we are t entirely out of line. Hmm. How, how's the temperature doing now that we've been pumping some temperatures around? It's pretty good, actually. We've got a hot spot up here, a hot spot down below. Uh, it is slowly evening itself out. It's particularly good when 20 degree water just gets held in the pipes here to uh, dump all its temperature into these granite tiles. Sandstone tiles, they're going to warm up even faster. Why aren't they granite? Granite gives us a higher decor. <laughs> who, who wants to place money on Curie getting herself caught in this tiny little space right here? It, it seems like something she would do. Let's, uh, let's set priorities in sort of descending order here so she doesn't do that. <laughs> All right, we really need the steel to come over. Oh, was someone actually on their way to do that? No, no. What, what, are you, what are you up to there, Plank? What are you up to? You're 
gotta grab some some spindly grub fruit. Okay, fair enough. Okay, after ticking the allow manual use button, which is totally something that I always forget to do, uh, we have now got Franklin running some steel from the bottom of the map up to the top. Hopefully this is all going to go over to Pyaxlin quite nicely. Where, where's it going to be coming out of? That's, that's the question I've not answered. That's why we send stuff through... Ah, here. Okay, yeah, that's that, that's fine. That's that's easy to deal with. I wonder if we could dig this way. We've got a lot of water to also worry about. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let's not get sidetracked with the natural gas guys are here. Well, we're here to try and sort out the oxygenation system. The, over here is a good temporary fix, but we could definitely get something that we can just build and let run. That's what this system's all about with the uh, combined power of the hydrogen generator at the top here. This is an electrolyzer system. This will split the water into oxygen and into hydrogen. The hydrogen we just burn off into this hydrogen generator and it can carry on powering itself forever and ever. But of course, you can see that there is a little bit of an issue here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just cancel like everything out of the middle here. Uh, I want to just slowly, slowly, slowly approach this. Hopefully Curie is going to want to do these digs first. Uh, let her run some deliveries. That's what she was doing beforehand. No, is building actually a higher priority? I mean, I kind of find if that is the way around we've got it. No, digging should be higher. Hmm. Uh, nighttime got called over here. I need her to build up all of these tiles before we can get nibbling down. Over here, I have set up something else. Let's let's clear all this out and I will show you. I just wanted to make sure things would fit. Inside the stations, we have done the materials sir No, no, no. It's because you're on the toilet. Okay, that uh, seems to be a bug in the game. I, I would call it a bug. Anyway, uh, that when they're on the toilet, they can't reach the food that they want to eat, but they're, they're just on the toilet. As soon as they get off the toilet, the, the, the alarm goes away, but it panics me panics me every time. Anyway, as I was saying, the material study terminal, that's the uh, the research that we have opened up here. This has itself a little weird import port just in the in the corner there. We need to be able to feed this something called rad bolts. Rad bolts are the material that this thing uh, refines into science, much like we put the uh, the water into the supercomputer or the dirt into the research station. We can put rad bolts into material uh, materials study terminal. That's a bit of a twister when you're just running at it like that. But how do we create that? That's what this brand new radiation tab is about. As we go on further into the future, we can harness the power of all these wheeze warts. They all emit quite a bit of radiation and we can harvest that to turn it into rad bolts. But to be, get, uh, to be getting going with, I'm going to go with this manual rad bolt generator as it's the only one we've got. Okay, so now that we've started to get a nice solid seal coming through here, I need to be able to start digging up along here and uh, build up these tiles. I don't really want to flood this whole place out. I think that would be a very bad thing to happen. And I think something else that we might need to do with Madame Curie here, as you can see, the, the, the plan is going to work pretty easily. But I think something else we could do, we, we've got this little cryo tube here. We, we need this place to be uh, sort of looked after by someone, someone who can go around, maybe make a little farm, something like that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defrost my friend over here. I don't know whether Curie's going to have that as a highest priority. Yeah, straight away that comes in at the top of her list. That's beautiful. Uh, we're we're going to say hello to a new person here. I don't know who it is. I don't know what they're going to be able to do, what their skills are. We've got a new achievement. First uh, teleport of Cali. Okay. Curious made an amazing discovery. A belly working cryo tank 3000 has been uncovered containing the ash can inside in a frozen state. Curious is successful in thawing ash can in this encounter to fill. And this encounter has filled both you because of a sense of hope, something they desperately need to keep their morale up while facing the dangers ahead. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. Of course, we can't keep this guy as Ashcan. Maxwell of Equation Frame. He's, he does a whole bunch of stuff with the flow of electrons. Well, just flow in general and stuff like that. Uh, so instantly on with the power. B brilliant. That's that's exactly what I was hoping you were going to do. Well, we got to store some stuff, generate some power. Nine, store some bleach stone. Okay, so it's it's good that this is here because really, let's first off turn the bleach stone off. We we want to set this up to send something else. 
let's go back to reverse Lynn. So everything is set up over this side, but as you can see, we have got a colony lax applied research scientist. That's right, our boy Max Planck down here does not have the skills that are required to be able to uh, research the higher level stuff. So we need to come into her, his a little skill panel here, applied science research. That's exactly what I said. And bam, it's disappeared. But we are awaiting rad bolts and this manual generator, it needs a... Uh it needs to be fed stuff. Refines radioactive ores to generate the rad bolts. Well, where do we have a whole bunch of radioactive ores? That's right, up on the surface here. We've got a whole bunch of uranium just kicking around. Ooh, colony achievement. First teleport of cool. Teleport a duplicate and defrost a friend on another world. Woohoo. There's a whole bunch of DLC achievements here. Anything that you see with this little yellow tag across the side is stuff that is specific to spaced out DLC. Anything without is across all of the game. Okay, and this has been some spot on build creep. We've managed to not spill a single drop of the water. That That's brilliant. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, raise this wall up a little bit here. Drop down another wall there. Because I think this is where we're going to put the uh, the liquid pump in. Am I going to make it out of steel? I'm not going to make it. Yeah, no, I am going to make it out of steel because it can go up to 100 degrees. I, I'm probably not going to be wanting to pump it if it's 100 degrees. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to cool this down at some point. That, after all, is what we're doing over here. Maxwell has been keeping this oxygen diffuser running most of the time when he's not sleeping. It turns out his long running time, uh, he's very slow is what I'm trying to say there. Uh, going over to the toilets and then coming back, he doesn't get enough sleep, so occasionally he passes out. Anyway, as great as it is to try and get some oxygen sorted and some food sorted, we are kind of waiting on something to make this whole oxygen generation thing more sustainable than rather turning it all on and watching everything melt. Uh, we we need to, to, of course, get this up and running, the, the rad bolt generator, as I've been saying. So we kind of diverted some of our attention over here. We are now digging our way up, trying to get some get hold of some of these pieces of uranium ore that ideally aren't space exposed. You can see that on this little tooltip here, space exposure. Uh, that means that, well, would you believe it? There is a vacuum behind there, but more importantly, a, a, a gases that flow into that vac uh, vacuum get destroyed. And I kind of like my gases. I want to keep hold of them. But whilst we watch Curie get up for a day of digging uranium on the very outskirts of space, I want to tell you about a bunch of people that I dig very much. <laughs> Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of people. These are are my patrons. Every single one of these people think that what I do here is worthy of continuing to exist and thus they have thrown me some monetary compensation for my time. Through the wonders of Patreon, these people have shown me their support by a small monthly donation every month, thus compelling me to produce this entertainment you see before you. You are the rad bolts to my material study terminal. Thank you so, so much. So as Curie has managed to get a whole bunch of uranium ore together now, I say a whole bunch, we, we got some 200 kilograms of uranium ore. I'm going to come down here, I believe it to be in the raw, min raw mineral, no, the raw metal then? Metal ore, there we go, uranium ore, brilliant. Hopefully someone should very quickly, Maxwell in particular, should be bringing some of that down here. I might try and turn that priority up or at least the priority of everything else down. Okay, this is taking a little bit. Oh no, Maxwell literally doesn't have the breath to get down here. I'm, I'm going to have to get Curie involved on this as well. That's a bit of a shame, uh, but let, let, let's watch her do it. She's got she's got bigger lung capacity. Okay, Curie made a little delivery there. Perfect, perfect. They should be set, getting sent straight over. Let's turn the uh, the high priority off of that. We need to get Maxwell doing other things then if he can't actually make it down here. But more importantly, that means that over on uh, this side, we should have had uh, some uranium ore dumped down there. Beautiful. Now, hopefully in here, uranium ore into rad bolts. Do it forever. Just, just do the whole lot, please. Hmm, I suppose we could be smart about this. We get five rad bolts for one piece of uranium. We're looking for 20 researchers. I don't don't know whether that means the 20 rad bolts but here is for oh, i just stopped someone going off and doing it okay franklin is on the way hopefully things should just work out fine we're just going to pick up the uranium or we're going to just dump it into the, ma the manual generator i'm not sure what the manual generator animation is going to be or if anyone actually has it. Uh, so first, she's going to do some ranching supply. Oh, here comes Plank. What's he doing? We're getting an arm workout, that's for sure. And and then nighttime got called. Always, always. 
Okay, Franklin's taken over in the morning, getting a good work uh, arm workout uh, again. I'm not sure how long that's going. Oh, oh, there it goes. We, we got a little little blip fired across. We've got some depleted uranium, and in here we've got 4.9 rad bolts. Okay, that's that's pretty good. We're waiting more rad bolts though. Do we need a hundred rad bolts just to do the one? Oh, I hope not. You know, I don't know what we do with depleted uranium. We could melt it into just uranium liquid. Okay, it's made by a whole bunch of processes. Maybe we'll be melting it? Even then, no. Okay, 14 rad bolts. The, uh, the warning has disappeared, so I'm going to assume it's at 10 rad bolts. Or oh, I hope it's not 10 to 1. That would be uh, expensive. Mm, yes, it's about 1 for, one for 10. Okay, that's... That's very expensive. So actually, let's let's just hit the forever button. <laughs> Back on Pyaxlin, I've diverted Curie to a little bit of a side project here. We're going to put down some farm tiles. We're going to get some good lighting underway. That's right, we're going to get a bunch of bl bristle blossoms going down. Hopefully that will give us enough food and maybe we'll set up a small kitchen somewhere that we can keep these guys just ticking over. I did send a whole bunch of lice loaf across, 25,000 calories worth it turns out. Hopefully someone's going to go around and tidy all of this up. That, that would be handy if that could happen. Probably not at those rankings though. Oh, we've only got three blossom seeds on this planet. Okay, that's something that we might need to uh, try to address as we go forward. I mean, I suppose we could uproot this one over here. Do I do it just by digging out from underneath? It might be the better way of going about it. And we can find ourselves a whole bunch more blossoms to be planted. Seems to have a little bit of a bug going on here. We've got a hundred red bolts, but there's nothing going on with the research. Where's Plank? What's, what's going on here? You're putting away coal. No, no research on here though. No, 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 Franklin, stop, 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 stop. You, you're going to carry on throwing rad bolts out here, whether it can take it or not, aren't it? Aren't you? Okay, that's that's not what we want. Only you because we want to follow the skill. Yeah, I, I know that we can need the skill, but we've got we've got that. We've got the skill right there. Look, it's right, it's, it's right here. Okay, so I went in, I deselected and reselected, and suddenly Plank's like, yeah, I can I can get to that for you. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. So it's not its final, final form, but I do believe it's close enough to be getting excited about. If I go up ahead and connect this whole system up together here, a lot of gases will flow, but mostly they're all just going to be dumped outside. The oxygen, of course, is going to have to be run uh, all around the base and possibly even teleported over to reverse Lin. But the most important part is we need to sort out what's going on with the hydrogen lock at the top. Yes, that's what this is. It's a hydrogen lock. And whether the uh, the liquid pump is going to be picking up. I mean, it's already got some 8 kilograms of water and 6 kilograms of water in there. There is still some cooling to be done, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. When this gets to turn over again, maybe we'll get to the point where we can uh, start producing some hydrogen and then it, it will be uh, powering itself. As a research, we're, we're up to 11 research now. Okay, let's uh, let's put that back onto forever. Uh, we're halfway. Okay, may maybe forever's the wrong one, but uh, we, we want it on a lot. So five rad bolts, it's 10 per point. That means two rounds per point. We want 10, so I'll set up 20. Well, we actually want nine, but I'm going to set up for 10 anyway. Okay, Maxwell has come to try his best to keep turning this thing over. Okay, so we've got some electrolyzer firing off there. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the gases. Yes, we've got hydrogen being made. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know how long we're going to have to wait for it to fill up. I'm going to say whilst it's above... Uh, I want to put a big number in here for now. I want the hydrogen to fill up before it gets there. Uh, before we start pumping out more. And we're filling up with water, so this is this is pretty nice. Okay, we've got a decent layer of hydrogen built up here, so I'm now going to swap this to a thousand grams. At, uh, sorry, above a thousand grams, yeah. So this should now be a pumping out. Uh, we're getting a little bit of hydrogen lost. That's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. We're just waiting for that to happen, where there's nothing but hydrogen being caught in there. We can then stop this. I'm going to cut the wire there and pass this over this way so that now the hydrogen goes into the hydrogen generator and hopefully, oh, press the wrong button, hopefully now we get a nice steady supply of power to hopefully free Maxwell from his eternal torment. He, he's hungry, he could do with some food, but instead he has to uh, stand here and run trying to keep this place up and running. 
Okay, well, let, let's move Maxwell out of there. He, he doesn't need to be sat there anymore. Okay, so there we go. That's that's brilliant. We, we've got ourselves a self-powered oxygen setup ready to go. Maxwell, what are you doing? All right, fine. We'll, we'll let you run it out. With well, the establishment of an oxygen system and a power system for here on Pyax, and I am going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have gone around and, as I say, provided power and oxygen for this rock over here. On reversing, we have, of course, opened up a whole new line of uh, research here. What are we actually working on right now? Let's go and have a look. We are, of course, working on the steam turbine. That is because next time it is going to be all about cooling systems. Not so much on this side, because you can see... We we, we don't we don't need to cool down that much maybe we could deal with all of this uh, lava over here but more importantly on the pie excellent we have got a whole bunch of heat that we have to deal with so i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye